toughest places to win if you're the opponent. USC is case in point. Ronnie James trying to change that for the Trojans. They have just one win in Arizona in their last 13 tries in this building. And the Wildcats, they've really challenged them though. Wins over Duke, Michigan State. You and I were here for the uh, blowout against Wisconsin. USC comes in 8-9 after a 4-1 start. The Trojans are 4-8 since. Ella Larson leaning in. And count the basket plus a foul. And it's on Sellers, a three fix. At the next level, he's one of the top shooters. And Cal Aaron Page checking in. Caleb Long is the three. Long rebound tracked down by Johnson. Now Boswell will fire. We talked about the home road splits. He was over. Chukwu facing up, takes the jumper, comes up short. Johnson up high, gets the rebound. Boswell in the open floor. Here's Larson on the cut. Follow at the tip. And it's 7-0 Arizona, the worst start possible. Helen Larson. And then that left the offensive glass wide open. James, who's getting serenaded with booze, gets his plays compact. He's a solid athlete. He's a good teammate, like a good passer. Jay, the coaching staff has raved about Ronnie James as a person. They say he's in sync with his teammates as well. And acclimated to this level. Ronnie doing that game by game, but he's only played about a Mobley. Johnson in the lane. And foul. And Jay, they were playing a lot better out with that hamstring injury. That's, that's 34 points a game. You got Joshua Morgan, who is back tonight. We'll see how many minutes he can play. Zone on a make and man on a miss. Not sure if that pass was intended for Boswell, but it got to him. Here's Johnson falling away. Tough shot, but it goes. And it's 11 4, Arizona. Boy, what a, an adjustment. See, one of five from the floor. Jaden Bradley, Alabama transfer on the floor. Here's Love hoisting and hitting. Caleb Love with his first points, and it's a 10. Are two really important factors in your defense. Right now, USC is lacking there. Good job that time by Jaden Bradley, knocking it away from James. Shot clock close to 10. James, terrific athlete. Good pass that time by James. Gets the assist. Kajani Wright with the bucket. Nice catch by Kajani Wright. And I think Kobe Johnson has got to attack the big guy when he comes off pick and roll. Arizona's in drop coverage. Love with his second three already. Impressive. A near two to one assist turnover ratio this year. That's his highest of the season. Good pass. And the basket for Rodman and a foul call on Arizona's Johnson. DJ Rodman, son of Dennis, completes the three point plot building. Five minutes gone by, 17-9. Arizona in front. Here's Lewis getting downhill and getting the layup. Freshman out of El Paso. Get a shot. You don't give yourself a chance to get fouled. And you don't give yourself a chance for an offensive rebound. Those are three pretty good things. Good defense that time. Rodman. It's a bad angle to make a post feed. Oh, Priebus slots that shot into the third row. Great player. Leads the Pac-12 in Pac-12 games and field goal percentage is 65 percent in Pac-12 games. He's averaging double figures and about four Vichin and checking in. So getting early minutes here. Philip Borovichin and off the bench instead of Morauskas. Here's Boswell on the paint. Falling away blocked by Johnson who's one of the Pac-12 leaders in steals. He's just got an excellent sense and terrific hands. Option. Arizona pushing USC further out on the floor. They're switching those ball screens and exchanges. Ornery for three. Got it. Amo with the offensive rebound and saves it before stepping out. And he beat three gold shirts for that ball. Yeah, that can't happen on the road or at home. Ornery commits a foul. 17 foul already. So Arizona is going to shoot free throws. The rest of the half the game's just not in the big dance. They lost early the last tournament. Yeah, and even as good as they were last year, I think Arizona was one of the best teams in the love come in here and providing that firepower and having it that firepower be completely under what a steal. Lewis blocked, but a foul, and Lewis will go back to the line. Well, he read, Arizona. Didn't he read that like a defensive back? I mean, that was beautifully done. Obviously, he's not going to get the minutes that 
he will get next year on the prospects for KJ Lewis. Well, he's a talented fresh last two days. It's amazing how much extra work a lot of these players get in. Both Caleb Love and Kylan Boswell got in multiple shooting workouts while I was here that I was watching. I don't know where these guys get this energy. James drills it, so Bronny James. He's just a young player that he's a he's a very good high school player. You know, wound up making the McDonald's All-America team. I think the NBA talk, beautiful cut, just poor communication to Arizona. And Arizona's got to get more movement. Jay, going back to Bronny James, if, if he just has time to develop, it'd be interesting to see what's there. But, you know, just watching him this year, and he easily gets sped up. We saw that the other night, made some turnovers, maybe took some bad shots. <laughs> Ballo hits the free throw. Arizona's last game, which was a loss in Pullman. Goes one for two. Ballo does at the line, but the USC lane violation, so Ballo will get us through. They could even run their man stuff against it. An average. Here's a three from Johnson. It's no good. Rodman gets the offensive rebound. James has the hot hand, gives it up. Rodman's three, short. USC one for seven. James, another rebound. And this time it goes down. Three pointer by Rodman to get right center of the screen as he was going to the basket. Freed him up. Arizona started seven of nine from the floor. The Wildcats have missed ten in a row from the field. They don't have a field goal in the last seven minutes. Johnson ends that a three from Keyshawn Johnson. Beautiful penetration down the lane by Caleb Love and found Keyshawn Johnson in the right corner. Laid back to seven with eight minutes to go in the first half. Good back cut. And Johnson with the layup. Morgan found him. Arizona is not staying in between USC and the basket. And the first thing you have to do is take away that back cut. Good pass. Johnson fouled by Rodman. Is back in Tucson with big shoes to fill. Arizona was one of the of Nick Saban at Alabama. You know, Kalen DeBoer leaving Washington. Coach's salary increases. Remarkable. Did he throw in Belichick and Carroll uh, in the NFL? I'd love to know what the number is for, <laughs> for that. Shot clock down to seven. He would shoot for one the face up. Boy, he's talented, but like Ronnie James, had a heart issue, suffered cardiac arrest two summers ago, and then had back surgery after he came back, worked himself back into shape, got a back injury at the end of last year. It's almost amazing that Iwachuku only averages five, six points a game. You know, he uses either hand around the basket. Stronger. Johnson, jump up, no. And SC ball. Aronson Page, wide open. Got to knock it down, he does. He's now 5 of 12 on the year from the corner. Floater Boswell, no good. Krevis got the rebound, blocked. That's the second block for Kobe Johnson. Just a great defensive play, but Krivas went after that with both hands. What a pass. And Rodman put great position. USC within three. Well, that was like a quarterback throwing it into a tight window. He threw that where only Rodman could catch it. Now back to the zone. Five minutes remaining. Nice pass underneath by Love. Johnson trying to create some room. And they call Iwachukwu for the defensive foul. Johnson hits the free throw. A bunch of games, they've gotten into the top 10 in the polls, but the analytics don't seem to like that one was contested late by Keyshawn Johnson. That might have been a good opportunity to shot fake and drive it. Love in traffic, fumbled it, gets it to Bradley, and the basket counts plus a foul. Better chance of getting more playing time and amical departure. Alabama earlier this year, Nate Oates spoke very glowingly about Bradley, even though he, he, he left after the one season. There's James for three. Got it. Ronnie James having a terrific first ten wing. Can they keep it up while under man? Down two starters with Boogie Ellis and Isaiah Collier out with injury. And limited minutes for Joshua Morgan is back tonight. Missed a couple games due to respiratory illness. Long two on the way and good for Bradley. Handle the ball. The third time that's happened to Kobe Johnson where he has not been able to secure the ball and it's been knocked away. Bradley feeling it. Short this time, but Bala with the offensive rebound. Another USC foul. It's going to put Bala at the line. Is they're way over the foul. Limit. And then the Warriors taking on.
Dallas in the second game. And so the NBA postponing that game. Keyshawn Johnson drives. There's a lot of contact. No whistle. USC ball. Down seven. Two and a half to go. The conduct incidental because he lost the ball. But a good short roll catch just couldn't keep it. And Johnson, who is 0 for 3 from 3, drills that one. And USC within four again. SC is moving the ball. But Lewis answers. They didn't get over to Lewis on defense. And he got it. SC doing a pretty good job getting back in transition. That was just the second miss for James. He does have nine points. Almost a turnover again by Arizona. Keyshaw Johnson talking the lane and gets the bounce. Johnson has a really nice touch. Had 20 points against Utah. Maybe had his best scoring game against Purdue where he had 24. James going to try it again. Comes up short again. And now Boswell in the open floor. James trying to chase down, but Boswell uses to get it. Kylan Boswell just took off. And the lead up to 11 now for the Wildcats here at home. A 7 0 run. Entry pass. Wright couldn't score, but a foul on Ballo. This is Eckman. He was a McDonald's All-American. What a high level. A tremendous job recruiting. Obviously, they got Evan Mobley that elite. To call a set that they can run against this. They want to take it so they have enough time for an offensive rebound. But USC can't take it the other way. And for Arizona, I think at halftime, they're going to be talking about tightening up their defense. They got beat on cuts far too many times and on screening situations. Bradley into the lane. Puts up the shot, missed it, got it back to one hand, tip no good, and rebounded by SC, and the half comes to an end. Arizona. Arizona against that zone, sent a cutter through right away, overloaded one side, and then got it right into Umar Bala with his defender right on his back. Arizona 3 and 2 in league play. Oregon, the top team at 5 0. You close. He also said he liked Bronny James and how aggressive and assertive he was in that first half. And he's looking for more of that going forward. Caleb Love taking it to the cup. Basket and a foul. So strong and athletic. Yeah, he can knock down threes. But he's got eight 20 point games, seven in his last nine outings. And he's already at 12 points in this one. Arizona by 13, largest lead. Rodman's three no good, and James comes down with a rebound. Reverse layup is good. They call it Utah, where Umar Balo, when he's going against a non-shooting big guy, Iwachuku, who just plays in the middle of the lane. Doesn't even go out to guard. So Iwachuku has got to become a screener and free up the ball. Rodman fouled. And dealing with all the pressure that, you know, come. And again, the coaches just rave about the type of young man that he is. He's, it's going to take a little bit of time, but he's having a terrific game in this one. USC down 10. They go to Ballo on the low block. And it's Larson inside. Ballo with the five. Got Bradley defending Ronnie James again. He started the second half, not Boswell. Here's Kobe Johnson spotting up. Three is down. That was a tough shot. Because James is going to have an advantage with on that drive. But that was a great catch and shoot by Kobe Johnson. Second three for Johnson. Inside follow foul by with Chukwu. The free throws because he's so deep down in the post. Free throw shooting for Ballo means at certain times during the game, you might not be able to have him in there. His opponents are just going to foul him. Send him. You know, teams are just going to play, play hack-a-shack against him. All back. Johnson got Larson off his feet, can't hit the shot, and no offensive rebounds for SC. Larson down court, got it. What a great pass by Love down court for one tonight. Well, how good was Paul Larson? Great cut by Bronny James. Missed it. The tip won't go either for Morgan. Larson was so good in that game against Wisconsin that we were here for. Love wide open, buries it. Arizona with a 14 point lead, it's largest of the night. Corner each driving, lost the ball. Larson got another strip. Arizona toughening up on some of these cuts, a little more alert in the second half than maybe in the first half. Larson penetrates, gets to the hole, missed the layup. And Krivas, who the lineup for USC, and you're asking him to come into this place and you know, beat a team that I think is top five good in Arizona. Well, the injury happened. 
11 days ago against Stanford as a, the team in general was turning a corner. And now they got to find a way without those guys to right couldn't handle the pass. Another turnover by USC. A little pocket pass on that short corner ball screen is really a tough catch. Love penetrating. Finds the cutter. Now Grievous with the slam. Ronnie James at basketball IQ. It's there on both ends of the floor. As Rodman lost the ball, and I'm not sure why he didn't go after it, and now commits a foul. Undercutting Boswell who scores, and will go to the line. Yeah, the ball was not. It was the left foot of Larson. It landed on the left foot of Kajani Wright. The double figures. Numbers for the Wildcats. Lewis will slow it down. Boswell takes a deep three that's no good. Krivas gets the offensive rebound and the stick back. He would shoot. You speak Swedish. Any, any of those other languages there that look familiar to you? I understand it, but I don't speak it. <laughs> I don't like to brag, Dave. <laughs> Iwachukwu inside gets the layup. Not been a lot of second chance opportunities for the threes. Good hustle that time by Ball and Law in Arizona looking to run. Arizona getting down on the floor. When it's been loose, they've gotten just about every ball. Larson driving baseline, Hornery reaching foul. Three play. Offensive glass. Kobe Johnson hobbling a bit. USC can't afford anybody else to go down. Here's Morgan. Nice pass inside. Rodman with the layup. Boy, just a beautiful cut by DJ Rodman from the weak side. Bad defense USC. Love floater no. Batted out by Ballo. And Johnson wide open. No good. Another offensive rebound. Larson puts it in. He had a good start, three of three, but he struggled since. Downcourt pass by Love to Ballo. Ballo backing down Morgan. Can't finish, but he'll go to the line. Well, he is a load in there. He gets leverage and gets lower than the defender. He's going to move. Just 27 rebounds. 14 of those on the, the Suns. They're playing much better of late. Now the Bradley Beal, Durant. Here's Ballo on the low block again. And they foul him again. How'd you like to be Joshua Morgan? This is not the guy to play against. If they rode. NFL playoff game for Mahomes. Keyshawn Johnson gets the rebound but missed the stick back, battling hard for it, and then he's been amazing. The things he can do at that side. It feels like another guy that I know you covered in high school that we said that about. And LeBron James is Boswell has the three. Obviously, very different players, but in terms of things we have not seen before from yes. a guy that size. Yeah, that's why it was so disconcerting for me to do uh, Bronny James's high school game last year at Sierra Canyon when they played against Christ the King. You know, when you do when you do a dad's high school game and sons, if you assign me to uh, LeBron's grandson's game, I'm out. <laughs> Sellers in transition, five and a half to go. Nice move by Page, counted in one. He's talented at 6'11". We saw him make a three earlier. It's games to go and not knowing the health of Boogie at the same time. But he said his message to the team was simple. Nobody's going to feel sorry for us, so we shouldn't feel sorry for ourselves. Well, and, and look, Andy Infield may end up going down as the best coach in USC history in terms of what he's done. You look at their in Utah, Oregon, and Arizona, Colorado, just out. Love in transition. Missed the dunk. Looked like he took off too early. Bradley finishes, though. And a foul. Throwing the ball out of bounds. Guy cutting. And the passer not big numbers. They shot 34% in the last game against Washington State. Kobe Johnson mid-range shot goes down. After a make, SC's been in this zone. So far, Arizona's been, just been throwing it around the perimeter. Might be the dagger, the three by Love, that pushes the lead to 16. Fifth triple for Caleb Love. 18 points, that's right at the season average for Love. In conference play, he's up around 23, second in the league. Sellers able to answer with.
He's had a good mid-range game. Iwachuku with a pass breakup. Sellers in transition. The defender left him, so he takes the three and makes it. And now SC back within 10. Arizona's going to stop penetrating this zone. It's just windshield wipered around the top. It's not making the, the defense make any decisions. Larson caught that and his eyes put it up and drilled the three. One minute to go. Shot clock at 15. One minute remaining. Love driving. Floater. Goes down. As for Arizona, the next question is, can they play better on the road? Can they shoot it better and defend better? You touched on the Stanford game where they gave up 100. Some of their guys, their, their home road splits. Boswell's one guy shooting it great at home, not so good on the road. Now, I, I know in the tournament, you're not playing road games per se, but it's not in this building, and they've got to find a way to play better outside this building if they're going to go far in the NCAA tournament. I think the answer to that question is yes, they can, and I think they will. Well, USC, meanwhile, will fall to 8 and 10, 2 and 5 in league play. They hope to get Boogie Ellis back this weekend. Arizona will play UCLA. Be the last time that Arizona goes to 13 and 4, 4 and 2 in conference play now, tied for second in the Pac-12. Tommy Lloyd with some words of encouragement for Ronnie James. Six straight wins for Arizona against USC. The Trojans have lost 13 of their last 14 here in Tucson.